What's up guys, my name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. In today's video, we're gonna have a trim protectant showdown. So guys, my trim here on my Sequoia on the, what do you call this, step board? Whatever this thing is, is pretty faded out. I'm gonna start on the passenger side and maybe in later videos, I'll try some other stuff on the driver's side. But in today's video, I'm gonna focus on four different products. And one of these products is going to be a little bit of an unorthodox way of using this product, but we'll check out the results. So the first product that we're going to use on the trim here is going to be Lithium's Trim Serum. This stuff is incredible. We're gonna test the durability of this as well. So follow up in the next couple of weeks and months, and we'll look at how this trim is performing because this is our work vehicle. And then the next product is going to be AM Trim. So this is a solvent-based trim protectant and this also works extremely well. The next one is going to be CarPro Pearl. This one is also well known for tire and trim dressing, and it's dilutable up to four to one. So I'm gonna use this neat today on the trim to try to get the maximum durability of it. And then the last one is going to be this, a liquid wax but not just any liquid wax. This is the new Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Liquid Wax. This can be used on paint, but can also be used on trim. It doesn't white trim out like the old waxes do. So we're gonna see how this stuff performs. So I do have four different sections here that I can prep and tape off. And we're gonna use this video as reference to keep track of what we put where. So let's take a look at the trim first and I'll show you what we're talking about. So here's the trim on the passenger side of the Sequoia. It is really faded and chalky, and some of this is discolored and may not be restored completely, but at least if it looks nice and dark and rich, then that's what we're shooting for. So we have these four treaded sections here that we're going to tape off and use each of these products on. So let's get started with the prep. We're going to use PNS paint coating prep surface. Nope. Paint coating surface prep. There's my dyslexia again. This is going to strip the plastic of anything that might be on here, which really there's nothing on here anyway. And then we're gonna tape off each section and apply each of the products. And we'll leave a little tape line in between to kind of show the control on each of them. Let's wipe down the surface first with the prep. I'm pretty much gonna douse everything really well. And of course, if you're detailing a vehicle, You've already brushed these all down, you've degreased them, and this stage should be pretty quick. So let's start with lithium first. I'm going to use this brush right here. This stuff is very thick, but it does apply really nice to the plastics. You can already see it starting to restore it. Nice, rich, dark look to the plastic. Good. So that's worked into the plastic really well. Let it sit, soak in there, and then we'll wipe off any of the excess. Next is going to be AM trim. So in the same way, I'm going to apply it with this little brush here. And this does have a little spray tip. So you can actually spray it onto the surface and then work it into the plastic. Ooh, this stuff smells really nice. Kind of a grapey smell to it. And again, this is a solvent-based if you do get it onto the paint, it will wipe off, but it is a little bit greasier than your water-based dressings. All right, that applied really nice, just like the Trim Serum, nice and dark, nice and rich. That's, that's really nice. I love the way that this stuff applies, it's awesome. Let's move on now to CarPro Pearl. Now this is a water-based silicon oxide infused dressing and I've used this on plastics before and it does a really good job. Don't know if this is going to really work or not. It might not, so I might switch to something else. We'll see. Not really working. This applicator is not really working the way I wanted it to. It'll work on flat trim, no problem, but not to get into those grooves. So I'm gonna take a work stuff brush and I'm gonna wash all these brushes out later so I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna apply a nice generous amount and work it into the plastics. And again, if it gets onto the paint, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. It'll wipe off. It's not the end of the world. And this stuff is pretty thick, so you can apply it right to the brush. And just work it in. Happy trim, happy trim. Might need a little help getting back there, so just use your fingers and the 
tip of the brush that darkened the plastic really nice. All right, probably shouldn't have done that. So last but not least is using a wax like this. So this is a trim friendly wax. So I'm not worried about getting it on trim, obviously. But just to show you what it can do, is it gonna restore the plastic completely? We'll see. And again, getting into those grooves can be a pain, but you can work it in with this little applicator. I'm gonna put more wax on here. Make sure to get it in the grooves and then we'll work it along with the little edge of the microfiber applicator. And again, on brand new trim, you might be able to get away with just using a wax like this. Is it gonna ruin the trim? No, of course not. These newer products are designed to go on trim and not white out the trim anymore. Many of the newer products, that is. There are some that still white trim out, leaves that residue, but for the most part, new products really don't do that anymore. Not like they used to. The application of it, it does darken the trim a little bit, and you can work it into these grooves. If I wanted to get another brush, I could, but I'm just gonna use the applicator. So doing it this way with old neglected trim, Probably not ideal, but I'm doing it just to show you what it can do. So I'm gonna use different sides of different towels just to wipe down the excess and anything that didn't bond. That's looking really good. All four of these look really good. So guys, all four sections look really good. You can see the control where I removed the tape. So remember, Lithium Trim Serum, AM Trim, CarPro Pearl, and then a hybrid ceramic liquid wax from Meguiar's. So did it darken the trim? Yeah, it did. Did it restore it completely? Well, not really. Still looks a little dry, but again, it's kind of an unorthodox way of using it. The CarPro Pearl looks really nice. Look how dark, that's really nice. So we'll see how long that lasts. AM Trim, again, looks really nice. And then Lithium Trim Serum, again, looks amazing. Look at the contrast. So it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So this might be a great test to show what these products can do the day after. So as a mobile detailer, you may be using one or more of these products or a different product and your customer's vehicles are going to be outdoors. So they can't cure for 24 to 48 hours in a garage or inside somewhere. So for mobile detailers, you need products that are going to work that day or the day after. So this is going to be a great real world test to see how these products stack up. So stay tuned for more videos. We're gonna show you guys how these products are going to hold up in the real world for the next few weeks and months. So guys, if you wanna pick up any of these products, go to Car Supplies Warehouse and pick up some of these yourself. And if you already use some of these products, let me know down below. Which products do you like and which products do you find don't really work as well as you want them to? There's a lot of variables. It all depends on the plastic and many other things that come into play. But for the most part, these products work extremely well on faded plastics. They restore them and they help them to bead water for the next couple of weeks or even months. And that's what you want, not only for your own vehicle, but for your customers' vehicles. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like it, share it with others who may enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. That way you get notifications each time these videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. And again, I'll have links down below to any of these products and they go right to Car Guys Supply. And they go right to Car Supplies Warehouse. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.